got some beautiful marigolds here this morning protecting my tomato plants hopefully there's a little cluster it's supposed to freeze in not today not tomorrow but the next day This one right here, this pretty blue morning glory, is getting ready to close. Yeah, and it will be like these, it will close like that. There's still a lot that want to open. Like that. But I don't know if they'll get a chance. It's kind of funny, this one, this vine right here, hardly has any leaves on it, but it has all of those pretty blue flowers. Yeah. Ah. Hate to see the summer come to an end. Hate it. Those pretty white butterflies that we talked about the other day that eat brassicas, they lay their eggs on the plants and then the eggs hatch and they turn into little green caterpillars and they eat the leaves of your broccoli and cabbage and things like that so that's what is happening here I'll probably have to get something like diatomaceous earth or something like that and see if I can eliminate those. I have another one right over here, a smaller one that they have pretty much eaten clear down to nothing. So that's kind of sad. Yep. Oh, my tomato plants are doing well for the next two or three days. Um, there's a possibility that it will only get down to 34 degrees and then warm up a little bit again. That's what I'm hoping for. If we could have another month, we could have a lot more food. Beautiful parsley that needs to be harvested again. I just picked these beans and one tomato that's starting to turn. So, that will be good. Yesterday, late afternoon, I came out and I finally got my strawberries in the ground. Some of them, a couple of them died in the house. Um, they looked pretty dead anyway. I went ahead and planted them um, anyway. Let's see, well, there's actually one right there. You can't even, well, you can barely see the crown, I guess, right there. I don't know if it will revive or not. And the other one is right there. We'll see what happens with those. But I did get that one in the ground, that one, that one, and that one, which doesn't look very happy. We'll see what happens there. And I did take some of my compost from over the fence. That pile right there. Took some of that and added it to this soil, hoping that it would help the plants. And I had some potting soil in the house, and so I added a little bit of potting soil to that also. Hopefully that will help. Hopefully. Somehow a carrot seed <laughs> fell right in the middle of this pot. So I brought it over here by the hydrant so that it would be easy to keep watered. We'll see what that looks like. See if it see if it goes through this threat of frost that we have coming up. I'm sure it will. Because it's a carrot. And they're hardy. I did come out like I said I was going to and 
trimmed off. I'm gonna move those, whatever that is, out of the way for a minute. I trimmed off the side shoots of this carrot that has gone to flower and wants to go to seed. It had some side shoots along here and I trimmed those off so that all the energy would go to that flower and hopefully it would go to seed sooner. And then like I said the other day, this is what we think is a tree. We don't know. If you know what that is, make a comment. And uh, if it's something worth saving, I will transplant it. And uh, yeah, we don't know what that is. But I did plant a while back my one surviving pepper plant, pepper start. So there it is. Um, if I want anything from that, I'll have to pot it up and bring it in the house and uh, treat it like a house plant, I guess. I don't know. So we already saw the celery. Um, these are the cabbages. I think they're cabbages. Pretty sure. Um, yeah. They have been attracting the little white butterflies, like I mentioned the other day. The kale is an amazing plant and it needs to be harvested again. And I noticed a couple of eggplant fruits on this. Let's get in here. Oh, that's a little one. But there are a couple that I noticed last night that probably right in there. quite ready. I know there's one around here that is ready. That one right there is. And I don't know, there's some back in here. Cute little ones starting to grow. So hopefully get at least one more harvest from these if they survive the threat of frost then uh, we might get another week or two or I'm hoping for a month of summer. Wouldn't that be great? I've never shown you my um, asparagus patch. It's right here and it is doing great. This was its second year and I was able to harvest a few. Next spring I'm hoping to get a lot off of these. That would be great. Alright, so here's the beans and that one tomato. Take it in the house. Oh, on the way we we'll just have to look at these zinnias. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm so glad I planted them. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Yep. Here's a project I have for, for myself. I have some beautiful lilac bushes right here. You wouldn't know that there are some windows behind there from my garage that you can look out. But you can't now, so I need to make a hedge out of these lilacs and uh, free up those windows so that we can look out have a nice view okay one more thing I'd like to show you come in here it's amazing how the camera adjusts to a dark garage First tomato I picked the other day was also green but turning. Well, now look at it. Oh, it has turned. Isn't that nice? Hey, that's my tomato harvest. <laughs> Plus that. All right. Well, it's a meal, right?